We have to realize that when we move out of God's time, whether it be too quick or too slow, it's like us saying, uh, God, I know you created time and everything, but um, your time is just a little bit off. Let me help you out. Really? <laughs> you gonna help God out? Okay, we'll see how that goes. Oh, it's time for that. to welcome back to the lifestyle my name is Chanel if you are new here be sure to take some time out and subscribe to my channel turn on your notifications so you won't miss a thing and be sure to like this video so for those of you who are not new I know you're probably looking for a video from me last week I know I know I'm sorry didn't mean to neglect you guys like that however I was busy 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 I had my bridal shower last week insert picture here and so it was super super fun i had a great time i want to thank everybody who came out special shout out to my sister for putting everything together special shout out to my mom for helping with everything literally and my dad for cooking the food was bomb my bridal shower and everybody else who had a hand to help and played a part um, for everyone who came out thank you Thank you. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough. Um, I got some wonderful gifts and I'm just super excited for this new journey that I'm about to be on. However, we did not come here for that today. We are here with a new video. So let's get into it. So it wouldn't be me if I didn't come with another life lesson. Of course, it's always my thing. So today's life lesson, guys is all about timing. Timing is so important. So we wanna make sure that we're constantly seeking God for his timing. There is a season and a time for everything under the sun. You really wanna make sure that you're not interfering with something that God wants to do in or through your life. Be careful not to jump ahead of God out of impatience or failure to seek his timing. We live in a generation and a day and time where we want everything and we want it now. We want it like that. Like, we don't want to have to wait. Like, what is waiting? That's so old school. Like, wait is not cool. But it's so important to wait on God. And on the other side, don't prolong your process out of fear of giving up control or even inadequacy. Feeling like you don't have what it takes or you don't have everything together or in place or you're not ready. I remember hearing this quote that really impacted my life. And it said, the only thing harder than waiting on God is wishing that you did. Don't talk yourself out of divine placement by leaning onto your own understanding or insecurities. Obedience includes leaning on and trusting God completely. Timing, results, and everything in between, especially the wait. When he says go, go. And when he says wait, wait. So whatever that thing is that keeps coming up for you to do, ask God, is this your timing? If he says yes, move. If he says no, get some patience and wait it out. Comment below if you are in a waiting season or if you really feel like God is trying to push you to do something right now, but you're a little hesitant to move forward. And again, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a video. And as always, share, share, share. Don't forget, we're just like you. We just think different. Sorry.